Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a lot of cards here. I did a poll for the overall energy of your connection. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? There's a lot going on. So um, please continue to comment as I'm approaching 8,000 and I will put you in the raffle to win a free deck of mine. I gave out two at 7,000. I'll be giving out two at 8,000. So um, this connection, okay? There's a lot of cards here, so I don't think I've ever pulled this many. Um, so for the masculine side, I did have mature divine timing and union, which was interesting because I have that, but then I have unawakened still on the masculine side. So I feel that time is slowly ticking towards union though. And I do have winter here. I pulled like all, a lot of blue cards. I don't know if the color blue is like significant. It could be that the masculine is literally feeling blue. The masculine could be going through like a winter period though of, I don't necessarily see depression, but like um, introspection, okay? Searching within solitary where things are just kind of like quiet and he's really getting in his mind thinking about things, okay? Um, we have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine here, but I'm going to keep it reverse. I feel the Feminine could feel very... Um, not almost like she can't read or emotionally pick up what's going on with the masculine she's like out of touch intuitively this could be interpreted in many ways but that's the way i'm getting it with this um poll okay um i do feel like the masculine though he is having a heart chakra opening here okay because he has from the moody moon messages masculine romantic loving emotional sentimental so he's starting to get like, I feel like reminisce about this feminine. And I pulled these again. I pulled them last time. Love, true, devoted, and loyal, and horny, desired, focus, and you. So I definitely feel that, like, the masculine is thinking about the feminine. And we have passion here, okay? Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy level. So I do feel like the masculine is feeling passionate about the feminine. And I feel the masculine feels like she's his healer. She's his sanctuary. But I still feel there's, like a third party situation or something that prevents him from really, it even could just be that he has like a lot of friends that he parties with and he can't settle down or he's drinking a lot. There's like an addiction going on, but I do feel like he deep down knows that the feminine is his sanctuary. Take time out from the world, spend more time alone, meditate or go on a retreat. But I do feel like he's trying to find this solitary space to think about things too. And I do feel like there's growth here. It could be slow but there is growth with the masculine. Seek out a mentor, guide, take baby steps as you grow, be willing to learn from others. So um, I feel that both people are healing. Here we have healer and then we have healing abandonment. So this could have been something you guys were both dealing with for a long time in your dynamic. And you both are starting to realize these abandonment wounds and really uncover where they come from and realize like how they block you in your life, okay? Uh, I do feel like you guys could be connecting in the dream space. We have shared dreams, astral travel, and lucid dreaming here. So if you're dreaming about your masculine, he could be dreaming about you. But I really feel there's a focus on both parties to take care of themselves. If they're not, you should be doing that. I actually just had watermelon a little while ago. So doing some cleansing because mind, body, and soul is all connected here, okay? I keep getting this as well. So I feel like the masculine and the feminine both, even if they have these like feelings, like deep down they feel like calm and like they trust this connection. They know it's going to figure itself out. But I feel like why you might be staying in a separation with this person is because they, this separation is a muse for you to like create and do the things you need to do. And I feel both parties really have to heal the wounds of codependency with this nine of pentacles. And I need to put the fan on because it's super hot. So, um, we have, I swear it's true, truth. I feel the masculine wants the feminine to believe what he's saying, whatever it is that he's saying or what he wants to say, but maybe he feels like she won't believe him because in the past he lied, he had deceptive behavior, and now it's like he's the boy who cried wolf and the feminine doesn't believe him anymore, okay? Uh, I do feel like the masculine wants to spend time with the feminine. He wants to have these precious moments that maybe he never even got to have. And there is eternal flame here. And this one was the last card I pulled out of that deck. I pulled like five cards and I'm like, no, I need to pull one more. And that's the one I got. 
So I do feel like this is a significant connection that goes on and on, okay? Thank you for being the light in my darkness. Illuminate. So I do feel like the masculine feels like the feminine. This is also a light, like the flame, like lights the way for him is healing, even when they're in separation. But I do feel like he has some conflict going on, some internal conflict. He's trying to figure out, you know, where to invest his energy, the things he's put his energy into, he can't just walk away from. I feel that's what a lot of this is, but I feel like it's also happening for the feminine to really build her independence here, okay? So um, there's a lot about, like, we have calm, balanced, trusting, and happy. And then we have, I never slept more peacefully than I did in your arms. And that's aligned with the sanctuary. So I feel like um, the masculine is really trying to tell the feminine, like, I want to lay in bed with you. I miss laying in bed with you. I miss being in your arms. I miss holding you physically, okay? But from Mystic Moon Twin Flame Messages Volume 2, we have... I need to go my own way for a while. That's what I'm saying. There's a solitary energy of the masculine needing to search within. And really, I don't think he has enough space in his own world, let alone the intensity of your guys' connection. If you guys are trying to communicate with him, I think he doesn't even get the space he needs to think about anything. He doesn't have time alone that he needs, all right? You are irreplaceable. But despite him going his own way, you can go your own way. You're irreplaceable. Like, he's never going to forget about you, no matter how far you guys go. And he's trying to do the honorable thing, but he is still haunted by his actions. So, like I said, this Seven of Swords deceptive energy, he realizes he was wrong. And maybe this unawakened is that he was unawakened at that point, and he's realizing his actions when he was doing that, okay? So, he is haunted by this deceptive energy, Maybe it was a third party situation and he doesn't know, he doesn't want to recreate it. He doesn't know how to get out of it. Okay. And then we've got universe seeing the beyond the veil. I, I feel like a lesson for you guys is to see beyond like the physical and to really build your spiritual faith here. Okay. And to not just judge things by whether you're communicating with him, whether he's told you anything. It's about you trusting and seeing beyond the facade of what you see in the physical realm. And then we have metamorphosis, which is like things are transforming. Things are changing. And interesting enough, we have breathe here because I feel like I'm out of breath right now. I feel that the feminines watching this have been holding their breath. And it's like, just breathe. Trust the process. Don't let, you know, it's like when you get upset, when you get disappointed, when you get sad, when you get hurt, you you stop breathing, okay? And br breathing is a sign of life, right? If you're not breathing, you're not living. So focusing on your breath to bring you back to the current moment because that's how you're going to heal abandonment and that's how you're going to stay present and be continuing to live. So yoga helps you breathe. I don't know why I'm so out of breath right now, I guess, because I've been doing a lot of readings and I'm tired, but... um. If nothing else, take away from this reading that the masculine is maturing and he divine timing is at play and there will be a union here and this is an internal flame. Okay, so maybe you need to find your sanctuary too. Maybe you need to find a place that's safe that you could heal because I feel you guys might be mirroring each other with that where you just both can't seem to find that. And I feel like the feminine might be really upset about stuff and maybe she doesn't even realize it because she's so used to being upset. But I do feel like you guys are in an independent mode, and I do feel like they see that as well. Um, but no, too, like we have this love. We have love. It's true. I, I almost read that I swear it's true love, but I swear it's true. It's the truth. Like, it is true love, okay? Is this love that I'm feeling? So just know you're the masculine sanctuary. You're his calm. He feels romantic about you. It's just like timing has to be right, and you both need to take care of yourself in the meantime, okay? All right, guys, that's your reading. I hope it resonated, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.